Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome back to the Olympia Dynasty. We are taking on Minnesota in week four here in the Golden Gophers home stadium. And this is a good Big Ten team we are going up against. They are very good in the pass game. Pretty decent in the run game. And are led by a quarterback Cole Kramer who is one of the best in the nation. We'll see if we can take down the Golden Gophers coming up soon. But first, we're going to hit you with this promo video coming up after this. And off we go here in the Golden Gopher home stadium as Dirk Canary will take this one out of the end zone. He'll make it to about the 15-yard line and actually, yeah, just the 15-yard line. Out comes Darius McIntyre after last game, starting off poor but eventually getting to a decent place. First and 10 here, it's going to be a QB sweep and he picks up a block and he's actually got a lot of green in front of him. To the 40, to the 45, jukes back inside and gets to about the 47-yard line before Darius McIntyre gets taken down. We've seen this play a few times and really we haven't seen it work yet as now they're in that dual QB set. It's actually going to be a pitch to Darius and Darius a laser to Ben Thompson there coming across the left side of the field and this offense looks good so far. Zeke Roberts in motion now on first and 10. Looks like they're overloading the left side of the field. It's going to be a handoff to Bo Johnson and he only picks up about two yards before being taken down there. Now second down and eight here. Triple option and whoa! It looks like the ball got stripped out of Darius McIntyre's hands, and that'll be a turnover, and Minnesota gets the ball after a really promising start to the drive. First and 10 now, Cole Kramer. Whoa, John Schweiss with a nice tackle for loss there. John Schweiss continuing to be the best player on this defense. Third and 11 right now for the Golden Gophers. It's a screen pass here to Williamson. He's got a lot of green in front of him, but Bradley Garrett makes a clutch tackle in space to force the fourth down. That's going to be three and out. Back on third down ourselves now, Olympia. This is a fast-paced game here. Finds Ryan Jones on the wheel route, and Ryan Jones will pick up 14 yards and a first down and 10. And that will be third down and 12 at about the 40-yard line. Looks like some hot routes being adjusted right now. A lot of stuff being shouted out. I'm not sure McIntyre can even get it to his receivers. Throwing this one deep here, and that's in the triple coverage as Ryan Jones cannot come down with it, and that will be batted down, forced punt. Well, it's a defensive game so far as on first and 10, they're going to run a little speed option. And Cole Kramer again brought down by John Schweiss in the backfield. Schweiss continuing to be a monster. Third and 10 now. Olympia's defense coming into play as well today as Kramer's going to drop back. Plenty of time to throw this one. And he throws a pick to Brett Kraft who has a lot of... No! Brett Kraft had a lot of room in front of him and unfortunately stumbled after the catch. Could have been a pick six. First and 10 here, Darius McIntyre rolling out and he's into the end zone. The contain was not there from the defensive end and the cornerbacks bit. Second down and eight now as Olympia back on offense after a fumble themselves and Darius McIntyre taking the triple option for nine yards and that'll be third down and one now. Third down and one, man in motion, that's Ryan Jones. He's gonna motion out there. Mid screen thrown to Dion Hurd, but that might not have been the right call. I think Ryan Jones was open and instead, we'll have to settle for three after this first quarter. So we'll see if we can come back. Maybe we'll go for it on fourth down in the second quarter here, but I expect to see three. And out comes the Olympic kicking team. I think this is the right call from Coach Cook. Mike Harris boots it up through the uprights, and that's going to be a 10-0 lead for Olympia. And off to Williamson here. Oh my gosh, he got blown up before he even got to the line of scrimmage. And John Schweiss whistles are blowing. Schweiss coming up huge again. Second fumble recovery of the season as Darius McIntyre on first down going to be sacked here. Now third and 13. Little play action roll out here. Darius going to take off and run with this one. Gets about the 16-yard uh, line before being brought down on fourth and two. And this time Olympia will send out its offense. Fourth and two. Triple option. D-Mac keeps it up the middle. He's down to the five-yard line. That's an 11-yard run there on fourth down. Not bad. First and goal here for D-Mac and the offense. Throwing it, Kosi, 
Tosi with the second touchdown in his mini games. He's got it. And now Olympia has a 17 to zip lead. Well, Cole Kramer's not one of the best quarterbacks in the nation for nothing. Let's see if he can orchestrate a drive here. Not a bad way to start as a 15 yard throw and catch to Philip Nelson will get him to the 40 yard line. Now a read option, Kramer holding it. A lot of blocking in front of him. Great blocking, as a matter of fact. Byron Haney might be able to catch up, and instead it's going to be Brett Kraft that finally comes over and makes the play. Wow, nice run there from Cole Kramer. Now first and goal at the five. Kramer dropping back. Going to take off and scramble at this one. Easily into the end zone. Nobody in front of him. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. I have to say, I love go the Golden Gophers uh, helmets there. First and 10, now Olympia back on offense. DMAC picking up some nice blocks on the QB sweep. The second time we've seen this run today, and it looked great. If the blocking holds up, that might be an unstoppable play with DMAC speed. Now first and 10, Bo Johnson going to cut this one up the middle for about four yards. Definitely electing not to take it outside there. Second down and six, dirty in motion. It looks like it's going to be an off tackle to Cameron Anderson, a counter actually. And Cameron gets across the opponent 40-yard line, and that's a 13-yard run. Third and 10 now. Drive might be stalling here. Looks like Zeke Roberts splitting out wide. We haven't seen a lot of this, and I think we need to see more. Oh, the receiver presses up. That's smart. Coverage is great. D-Max going to have to run with this one and tries to make a, a move in space. Doesn't make it, and now it's going to be fourth down and four, and we'll have to kick another field goal. 20-7 to seven now. Olympia at midfield as Mac uh, not Olympia. Minnesota at midfield. It's going to be a five-yard run for Jason Williamson, and with a minute left in the game, minute 45, they're going to go ahead and take timeouts. Second down and five now. Kramer throwing it to, that is Adim Madumere, and he's got a seven-yard catch to get them across midfield and a first down. First and 10 at the 20-yard line now for Cole Kramer. Cole going to run a speed option here. Cuts up field. I don't know about that one. Gets seven yards before they call a timeout. Second down and three for Kramer now. Hands it off to Williamson. Williamson stiff arms his way ahead for a first down. A chance to get him off the field. Doesn't fall through. First and goal now. Kramer on the speed option. Well read. And guess who? If I haven't called his name a few times, I'll call it a few more. That is John Schweiss. Second down and goal now. Kramer dropping back. A lot of time. He's going to take off and run with this one. Let's see if the defense come up and make it. Schweiss, who just made the play, unfortunately. Not able to make that play in space, and now that's going to be Olympia ball. First and 10 now after the touchdown for Minnesota. DMAC, I think he might have had a touchdown there if he ran it correctly. Seven yards instead, and that'll be second down and three now. DMAC rolling out one more time. He's going to take off with this one. Gets about the 34-yard line before stopping. It's going to be first down and 10 at the t with 20 seconds remaining. DMAC rolling out left. He's got a man open. That is Lee House, his former high school teammate. And Lee House is down at the 40-yard line of cross opponent territory and that is now second down and 10 as we have about six seconds left we're going to go ahead and run it up the middle and try to give ourselves a nice favorable field goal and that's just what Bo Johnson does with the 10 yard run two seconds remaining on the clock Mike Harris this one not the easiest field goal but I think he's got it and it is well through the middle there as we will take a nine point lead going into halftime what a half from Olympia's defense and offense towards the end you started to see Cole Kramer kind of take over the game but I think Olympia look great, and we'll see if they can maintain that in the second half. Back in the second half here as Minnesota starts off first and 10. It's going to be a handoff to their backup running back, Wiley, there. Cam Wiley with a two-yard run. Now it's second down and eight. Looks like dual back set still staying in motion. Now Cole Kramer pitching it out to Williamson on the speed option. A beautiful pancake block as now Williamson is running free. He's got Bradley Garrett, the only one that can stop him now, and Bradley Garrett just manages to do that. But not before a 71 yard is ripped off run is ripped off by uh, Williamson there. Kramer dropping back. Going to throw this one on the out route to Williams. Not Williamson. And he'll pick up nine yards. And that'll make it second down and one at the goal line. Kramer on the speed option. Pitch out to Williamson. Touchdown, Minnesota. Williamson and Kramer have turned up the running game. Similar to how we have, honestly. The offensives look pretty similar. Second down and 11 here. Play action. A tight window throw to Ben Thompson. That was a dangerous pass, but we'll pick up 17 off that. Now, QB sweep on first and 10. Darius McIntyre, he's got the blocking he needs. He's got the speed he needs, and he's out to the edge, and nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Darius McIntyre. A 40-yard run, and DMAC is just lighting it up on the ground today. Man in motion here. We're going for the two, and that's going to be a handoff to Kosi Minza. Three yards, and it's touchdown. First and 10 here, Kramer dropping back, throwing this one deep, and 
Where is the defense at right now? That's Namandi Adim Madumere for 40 yards, and that'll put them down at the 25 on first and 10. Defense, come on, somebody step it up. Cole Kramer throwing this one to Wilson. He's got him seven yards across the middle of the field, and that's going to be about at the 18-yard line. Now third down and three. Kramer making some adjustments here. It looks like we're sending the house, and Kramer's just going to take off with this one, get some great blocking, and he'll get stopped at about the three-yard line now. First down and goal. Kramer dropping back. Plenty of time as he finds. That is Brown Stevens now for a three-yard touchdown. As Olympia's defense has kind of gone AWOL since the second quarter. Olympia back on offense here. Going to be a pitch out on a triple option. Looks like Ben Thompson has the first down a little bit more as he actually makes a nice juke move but then gets rocked down hard. Gets 15 yards though and the first down. Second down and 11 now for McIntyre in the offense. Looks like they're sending eight. He finds Dion Hurd for a 15-yard reception. Blocking held up really well on that play. First and 10 now. Oh, a little inverted veer action as DMAC actually able to really just some great ball carrying vision there. Jukes a man out. He's at the 10. He's at the 5 before being brought down from behind. Oh my gosh. Darius McIntyre is putting on a master class and he now holds the all-time Olympia rushing yards record over Bo Johnson. Well... I didn't expect that to be a quarterback that would hold the record first. Third and goal now. DMAC rolling out to the right here. He's going to find Lee House behind his back. And Lee House with that speed and shiftiness. The high school connection there making the touchdown. The roommates scoring. First and 10 now. Cole Kramer dropping back. They're back on offense. Minnesota really. Oh my gosh. Bradley Garrett just laid him flat. Third and one now for Cole Kramer. He's going to take off and run with this one. And he gets brought down from behind. And they're going to say that's inches short. Minnesota's going to have to punt this. As we end the third quarter, Olympia will get the ball again. Up 10 points. One score here might just go ahead and seal the game. Can Olympia continue to run it? We'll see coming up after this. When we kick off this fourth quarter with Olympia in the driver's seat here. Second down and nine. D-Mac out running defensive ends and linebackers alike. Nobody in front of him. This QB sweep is unstoppable today. Darius McIntyre, 64-yard touchdown. Well, you know, we thought about him breaking the rushing record. He's just going to shatter it today. 279 yards. That is a new school record for a game. New school record career-wise. And Darius McIntyre, three touchdowns. That's going to actually tie the touchdown record in a game. First and 10 now. Cole Kramer back on offense. Going to have to score a touchdown here. Pretty much that's your only option. Brown Stevens catches it, but it gets rocked loose by Brett Kraft. That's going to be third down and five now. Kramer looking like he's looking to the sidelines for some help. Make some adjustments. Dropping back Kramer. A lot of time on this one. Going to throw it to Brown Stevens. Brown Stevens shugging off a tackle to keep Minnesota's drive alive. Now it's first down and 10 at the 35-yard line. Kramer dropping back. Throwing this one deep, and he's got Manning down to the two-yard line. That is Adam Manning, and Minnesota's a score away. You know, they're not out of it just yet. Kramer is going to be a power up the middle, and that second effort from Kramer's legs get them the touchdown. Minnesota back down to a 10-point deficit. Second down at 13, Olympia on offense again here at their own 15. Looks like a simple triple option here as McIntyre is going to have the first down and a bit more. And he picks up a block from Ryan Jones, and my goodness, speechless, speechless witness history in the making as Darius McIntyre, 85 yards to the end zone, and he's done it. He's broken the school rushing touchdown in a game record, and he might be on pace to break the NCAA rushing in a game record. Minnesota back on offense here with three minutes left, but I think this one is all but over, and that will go ahead and do it. Byron Handy with the clutch interception. Fourth turnover for Minnesota on the day. Olympia finally winning the turnover battle, as actually Byron Handy will now take the school record from himself, of course. Uh, he's going to go ahead and set that record to nine. Looks like we're going to run a little bit more with the starting offense here. Is it's a screen pass out to Ryan Jones. Ryan down to the 40-yard line, and he'll get met out of bounds. It'll be third down and four now. One time, one first down will seal the game officially. And Bo Johnson does just that, fighting his way forward for seven yards and a first down. And we'll go ahead and see Olympia go ahead and run this clock out. Another QB sweep here. The, the blocking has just been superb today as DMAC will pick up the first down. 
And with those 11 yards, that will seal the game and it will be over as Darius McIntyre, your well-deserved player of the game, 365 yards on the ground, 6 total touchdowns. And how about this Olympia offense? We'll have a lot to talk about this week as well as big news going into week 5. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.